A research team, including Carnegie Geophysical Laboratory scientist Viktor Strushkin and Alexander Goncharov, has made an important breakthrough in our understanding of the mysterious ways manganites respond when subjected to intense pressure. The team was led by Maria Baldini, who was with Stanford at the time the research was conducted, but has now joined Carnegie as a research scientist. The team's measurements were carried out at the Geophysical Laboratory. Manganites have been studied for many years since the discovery of colossal magnetoresistance, a property that promises important applications in the fields of magnetic sensors, magnetic random access memories, and spintronic devices. However, understanding and ultimately controlling this effect remains a challenge because much about manganite physics is still not known. At ambient conditions, manganites have insulating properties, meaning they do not conduct electric charges. When pressure of about 340,000 atmospheres is applied, these compounds change from an insulating state to a metallic state, which easily conducts charges. Scientists have long debated about the trigger for this change in conductivity. The research team's new evidence shows that for one particular manganite, the insulator to metal transition is strongly linked to a phenomenon called the Jan Teller effect. This effect actually causes a unique distortion of the compound's structure. The switch from insulator to metal occurs when the distortion is suppressed, settling a long-standing debate about the nature of manganite insulating state. The formation of inhomogeneous domains, some with and some without distortion, was also observed. This evidence suggests that the manganite becomes metallic when the breakdown of undistorted to distorted molecules hits a critical threshold in favor of the undistorted. Some of the researchers were supported by various grants from the Department of Energy's Office of Science and its National Nuclear Security Administration. Some of the experiments were supported by the Department of Energy and Carnegie Canada. The research was published online by Physical Review Letters. The Carnegie Institution has had over 100 years of extraordinary discoveries. To continue this tradition, Carnegie scientists need your support. For more information about this and other cool science, visit our website at carnegiescience.edu. This is John Strom.